Ronald, first of all, can I just get your reaction to last night's Capital One Cup draw? Saints travelling to Stoke in the next round. Again, uh, away game. That's uh, that's a pity because uh, yeah, finally one at home was good, but okay. Uh, the draw is the draw, and we have to take it. And uh, okay, we look forward, but first we have to play uh, other games, and uh, and then we will see. Uh, when they play, uh, when we have to play away against them, uh, how the shape of the team is. Let's focus then on this weekend. Um, your players, after that fantastic result at Arsenal on Tuesday, were, were straight back in training. They must all be looking forward to this chance to, to carry on the run they're on. Yeah, that what was was not in the in the plan uh, of the program of this week, because I planned uh, a day off on on, on Wednesday, and uh, but uh, the players. Uh, and Jose came to me and, and they said, uh, not day off tomorrow, we come to train, we, we have to recover and uh, we, look forward, we look forward already to Saturday because Saturday is important and uh, okay, that means a lot because sometimes uh, they need a day off, of course, but uh, for them it wasn't a good moment and okay, we, uh, so as you know, uh, we had training session. You must have been very impressed by that, that decision of the group of the players to, to come in when they weren't necessarily required to do so. Yeah, that's a very good and positive detail uh, of, of the ambition, what the players have. And uh, that's another example how uh, how they do that. It's um, You mentioned sort of after every game, to be fair, after the last two or three, how important it is that they focus on the next game. Is that just an example of just how focused a determined group you've got here? Yeah, we, we try to, to build it up and, uh, and then it's uh, more easier for the coach if they have his own uh, ambition, his own professionality and then, then makes everything l much easier. How have they looked in training then over the last couple of days? Because it's not easy, is it, to go from that Tuesday straight into training to prepare for another game if they looked as fresh as you hoped they would be? Yeah, OK. Uh, Still, I, I, I saw this morning, uh, OK, it, is, it stayed two days after the game of Arsenal, but uh, for Saturday we, we have to be in a good shape and we will be in a good physical shape. And uh, we know it will be a, a hard, tough game against Q, Q, QPR and, and because uh, the expectation is much higher than in the beginning of the season and uh, that's a different situation. Is that something that your players are going to have to learn to deal with now? Perhaps at the start of the season they were unknown quantities to a lot of people, but now people do expect this team to do well. Yes, the players, the players but everybody. Everybody, uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's a very good start of the season, but uh, the season is not uh, five, six games. This season is uh, 38. And it can happen a lot in, in the football, uh, that's our experience and, and uh, if we keep, keep fighting, if we keep uh, our concentration and the focus, how we did uh, till today, then, then, then we can continue. Some people would like to get excited by the fact, maybe the fans, by the chance that this team could potentially go top of the Premier League this weekend. Is that something you're quick to drive away from any of your players' minds? No, I, I, I don't uh, watch to the, to the list. Uh, I don't watch the results. OK, results are very important because results, points, give everybody a lot of confidence. But we, we start the season with, with our philosophy in, in the way how we play, in the way how we do pressing. And if we keep that, then normally the results are more easier to win. Queen's Park Rangers then, how do you assess them as a team? On one side a little bit difficult because they, they played uh, in different systems and uh, Sammy Lee told me uh, it's unpredictable because sometimes they play on a high level and sometimes they have not a good performance. Uh, they had two tough away games against Man United and, and Tottenham. And OK, they, 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 they need points and they need to, to have the, the feeling in away games. And, uh, OK, it will be tough. It, every, every game in the Premier League is, is, is not an easy one. And uh, after Arsenal, uh, it's still more difficult. In terms of your team selection, your availability issues, we know about James Ward-Prowse and the fact he'll be out for 10 to 12 weeks, you said. Maya Yoshida, Toby Alderweireld, how are they doing? No, uh, Toby was, uh, did training session today and we have to wait uh, till tomorrow how is the reaction uh, of today. 
but he can be uh, fit enough for Saturday. Uh, Maya, as well, we have to take that decision tomorrow and uh, and we have to wait. Just a quick word for James Will Prowse, as I mentioned. Um, very difficult for him as a, a young player who started the season well to, to have to be out for the next 10 to 12 weeks. Yeah, that's true, because uh, injuries uh, on one side, injuries are part of football. But in the beginning of the season, it's always tough. And even uh, with Brownsy, because he, he had a f very good start of the season. He played a lot. He showed, uh, as a young player, his qualities. But OK, he's, he's still young and he had a lot of time to, to show his qualities.